in this world of ordinary people. Yeah, so so the first the first thing that I would say about this album is that you know I think we've been tracking for maybe seven maybe seven years or something like that. Just in general. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Right. So so in that time, you know, your general process is always to just show up, pin your verse. Yeah. Lay it down. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and that's just always no matter what. No matter how high level the record was or how much pressure there was, you just kind of always Mm -hmm. showed up, knocked it out, which I've always spoke on, you know, like publicly about how amazing that is. Appreciate that. But on this album, I've never seen you like literally like show up with verses prepared because you spent so much time. Yeah, not yeah. I mean, not not really I wouldn't say verses prepared, but like kind of like if I would come to the spot with you and write, I may write and not record that day. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, and then go home and come back tomorrow and continue to write. Right. And then, you know what I'm saying? So it was, what I'll say about this project, um, and you and I talked about it before a little bit too, was that like, this was the longest it ever took me mm-hmm. to make a record. Like normally if you look at like, you know, the easy truth with Apollo Brown was literally nine days. You know, Retropolitan was, with Pete Rock, that was literally like 11, 12 days, you know, uh, a celebration of us might have been like three and a half, four months max. You know what I mean? Like, it's always been that type of thing, you know. Um, but like you were saying, with this, I started the first record I recorded for this, I would say, was summer 2019. And I didn't wrap up till like January 2021. So you're talking a year and a half. Right. You know what I mean? But there was a lot of pauses in between, you know, like I had the vocal cord surgery and I couldn't talk for like a month and change and whatever, whatever. And then I stopped to do milestones, you know, the, the EP about fatherhood and Father's Day and my son and my pops. Right. So, you know, I literally paused this album for that because in my mind, I was like, all right, you know, we got to take advantage of the opportunity of Father's Day. Either I do it now and get it out Father's Day 2020, or I got to wait a whole year, 2021, knowing that this album was on deck. So I literally paused all the brilliant things like halfway through, got out of that frame of mind, jumped into the fatherhood frame of mind, which I'm always in by default, but jumped into that from a creative and writing aspect. And what did I do that in? I mean, you you recorded some of that. Um, I think think that was a month. I think, give or take. Yeah, because it was a lot of like, like that record, not to even break topic, but that record, I started with a song for fathers, right. you know, um, I, I I did that. And um, I did that in New York at uh, my man Captive Spot. And that was just a one-off. I just had this idea to do this one song. And then when we did it, I was like, yo, this came out so crazy. I want to do five, six more of these and turn it into a project. Right. You know what I mean? So like, it was split up. I did the one, then I waited, then I did a few more, and then, you know, whatever. But most of the time it'll be like 30 minutes for a verse, an hour for a record and a whole song being like, you know, you've been there. It's like right. yeah. verse hook, yeah. second verse, bridge, outro, whatever, like the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Like the whole thing will be like an hour, you know, maybe, you right. know what I mean? But you know, with this one, um, it was like four hours on one song and that shit never happened right. in my career, but it was that's on purpose. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it, what I'm talking about. It was on purpose, you know what I mean? Like, bro, it, I never, you know how I knew the album was special? Cause I never seen you put that much like, I don't want to, I don't want to minimize anything that you've done before right. by saying this, but it's right. like the level of attention and energy that you put into this was yeah. different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause yeah. normally it just comes out of you, but I, I feel like either, Either the subject matter might have been a thing, or mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, like all the gentrification and all that yeah. other kind of stuff. Yeah. Something about this album was yeah. just different. Yeah. And when we talked about it, I was like, "Yo, this is the one." Like as many years as we've worked, right. I was like, "This is the one I got to mix." You yeah, know what I'm yeah. This was the first one you meant because, so like, yeah, because just going to what you said, and you know, it wasn't, it wasn't a writer's block thing. I think a lot of times people hear that people was writing slow. It might have been a writer's block. It wasn't a writer's block Not thing at all. at all. It was more so. I really was pacing it out. Like I would write a whole verse. I'll write a whole verse and read it like eight times before I even step in the booth. Like I'll just sit there, write it on the phone and I'm sitting there just going over and the music has been playing for an hour already in the background and I'm reading it, reading it, reading it. And then I'm like, that line right there, now I want to flip that a little bit different. So I'll take that one line out. And then when I do that, 
I'll read the whole verse again over and over and over just to see how that line fits right. and these different cadences and tones or these moments. Like, okay, if I said this line, if I said the sixth bar here, what about if I put that same thing? What if I flip that and that message I was saying in the sixth bar, what if I make that the 14th bar? Supreme soul for two Billy. Looked in my closet like they should split that with me. For every collab, T sold for 250. And every face dawned on it, resembling me. There's a line on the album that is like, it, it is one of my favorite lines in, in music. That was it. <laughs> that was the line. Yeah. Bro, I was just telling you there was a line. Yeah. I ain't tired of lace on my sneakers since I was 10. Yeah. Right now, my sneakers ain't tied. You my Tim's ain't tied, bro. There you go. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm just, you know, I, I grew up a certain way. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I feel like regardless of, of where I'm at in, in life and, you know, family man and son, wife and all that stuff, you know, certain things ain't going to change. You know what I mean? Right. Like, certain things aren't going to change. Like, I, you know, I'm, I'm never going to wear a hat, never going to wear a, a fitted where, you know, the bottom is the same color the top. That's never going to happen. Right. It's always going to be a gray bottom or a green bottom. You know what I mean? It's just certain shit about me that comes from here. Like, you know what I mean? Like, right. so, you know, I ain't tired of lace on my sneakers since I was 10. All the inspiration I needed was by the bench. Right. 18 looked like 30 to fifth graders. It smelled like Dior, Fahrenheit, and Philly paper. So right there in that four bars, I'm just Man. explaining my neighborhood. Like, you know, going outside at 10 years old, you see the guys that's 18 right. on a bench, rolling up a Philly, blowing, chilling. Ava Rex on, Tim's on, wow. Jordan's yeah. on, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Gold, jewelry on, bumping Illmatic, bumping AZ, whatever, yeah. bumping Biggie. And like, that was what we saw. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, that was what we saw every day and we wanted to be that. You know what I mean? Like, you know. I was supposed to be a trap rapper, mistaken identity. Sat me with the backpackers, made it all comfortable. Sweet as a redeemer, dunking a blade brown. I'm still leaving with Demeter. Shouts to who came round when I was speaking through your speakers on wanting to stay down and the beliefs that would feed us like this turning or that. Return of the pack, where it followed you forever like a murder's attack. I was front row seats for what you heard in my raps. Jumping in and out the ring like an emergency tap. I got us. Same rule apply. Aim, do or die. But put a mirror in front of me to save who's alive. Like picture James Baldwin in the room of Frank Lucas's and Nicky Barnes's and all that influences. And the mood of it, the same color of the magic. True to the hue of it, like you was slumping off a habit. I was trying to kind of blow it. But everyone around me was meeting with Guadalupe's and eating the conduit with a trunk full of reasons to see what you follow through with. And bet I understood every dollar they spent to prove it. All together from wherever we bound by. Same block where they sell you a pack out of Crown Fried. To put me in your deck is like I bought you a brown mine. Just as long as you never expect me to downsize. Word to immunity and all let it do for me. Cause double entendre seem to fit more suitably. They sold you a paradox. I ducked those beautifully. Figure this worth it on our way out like duty free. Truthfully, the price tag of what it took of me to get to me. The nerve of me trying to flood Fulton Street with Dilla Beats. I bet I did it only above that was soliloquy. Made trappers go nuts to donuts. The makings of a sacrificial lamb with the backings of a band. Trumpets wrapped around me, rapping about Spran. And all the superheroes that would pack them in some dance. And how everything you waited for could happen in advance, right? Bottle service, rightfully in the picture. My morning after was playing knife beats for strippers. <laughs> Call it a beautiful. For decay is best The greatest balancing act that ever came off the steps With the same ones next to me posted up on whatever's left Same jeweler whether a Jesus piece or a treble cleft yeah. And if you was dead and you understand We all came fully prepared with rubber bands But the more that I was point blank in there forever The wilder it seemed to me to be stringing this together Word fly around like we all loud on the front page Third time around it's more common that one day it all makes sense And Common's third album was called One Day It All Makes Sense So that was third time around it's more common that one day it all makes sense Depending on who was talking But me penning for me is me penning for Yusuf Hawkins And then it just Yeah, yeah like that record you know it was a concept that came to me kind of towards the end of the album of like, you know, I, a lot of my friends that I grew up with, um, they love what I do and love my music, right? And love the side of the fence that I'm on as far as musically and what I do, but they're more trap rappers and more, you know, as far as what they listen to all the time outside of me, because we grew up in neighborhoods and we grew up around certain things and some of us became certain things where it was that. It wasn't about no tribe. It wasn't about no, 
LB. It wasn't about all the stuff that I love. It wasn't about no Slum Bill. Like, they didn't know who none of them was. Like, that was me coming to them. Like, yo, you got to hear this right. Slum Bill. Yo, you got to hear this LB to listen. Yo. And they was like, what? Like, all right, but we on this. You know what I mean? But we all came from the same place. So it's like, they would look at me and be like, yo, like, yo, you killing it. What you doing? Like, you the nicest motherfucker ever. You know what I mean? But you know, if you did this shit, this shit is easy for you. Like, you could do this shit and just kill. You know what I mean? And Bro, well, you know, you know how I feel because for me, I work with upper trap rappers, rappers, and, trap you know rappers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like people you mentioned, like I've done Future and Ross and right. um, Thug and all this other stuff. But it's like, 